Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and welcome to another edition of Hank Parker's Fishing Tips. Hank, this week's question, it comes from Gary Kilmartin from Illinois. He wants to know, is it safe from a health standpoint to kiss a fish like I often see anglers do before releasing them? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say it's safe, but it can give you bad breath. I don't know if you've ever been around Jimmy Houston, but he kisses all those fish. And I can tell you when his bite's on for Jimmy, because he's got the worst breath. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if he French kisses those bass <laughs> or not, but I've got some pretty, pretty strong suspicion that Jimmy's a little wild kissing those bass. But no, I think it's fine. And most of the time, if you watch me kiss one, I'm faking it anyway. I don't really get in there and make contact. Now, Jimmy, that's a whole different story. <laughs> but I think he's all right. He's 72 years old, by the way, Jimmy Houston. Uh, it still has bangs, so what can you say about that? A 72-year-old man will bang. But I will say this, Jimmy Houston's one of the coolest, neatest friends that I have. And that rascal's 72 years old, and he acts like he's 50 years old. He's wide open. So I think kissing bass may be healthy. It, may, it works for him, doesn't it? Maybe give you extended <laughs> life, I don't know. Working for Jimmy. Well, there you go, Gary. Pucker up and kiss those fish. <laughs> for more tips and tricks like this, go check out hankparker.com and all the information that's on there. It's loaded full of pages and pages of information and videos, and you can look at it to your heart's delight. And if you want to get notified of more videos like this, just check out our YouTube channel and subscribe to it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.